Hey guys, I just made this tripod here out in the woods and in this video I'm going to show you exactly how I made this. And if you like outdoors videos, you're curious about this sort of thing, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button. We post new videos like this every week. Alright, let's jump in. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get three poles, just long sticks that are 8 to 10 feet long, maybe a little longer if I'm feeling generous, and I'm just going to uh, gather the, the logs and then I'm going to measure it out with my feet. So I'm going to go do that. So I got my three poles together here and I got uh, a rope and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a tripod lashing here um, to get these all to come together. For a tripod lashing what you need to do is you start with a clove hitch and uh, so I'm going to tie that off to this pole first. And if you don't know how to tie a clove hitch, if you're not familiar with that, then we have a whole other video that's all about clove hitch uh, and how to tie it. So I'll put a card to that video um, on this one so you can go check it out if you want to but you start with your clove hitch and then you kind of want to bring it down um, a few inches on the pole so that you have space to work with. And then the thing you do next is you got to do turns around your three poles. And so you kind of weave it almost like a basket. And so it's like an under, over, under, over. And then when you get to the end like this, you do the same thing and you go backwards. And so typically what you would do is you do this, oh, five or six times, but uh, I already know that the, the rope that I have is uh, not, it's not quite long enough to do that. And so I'm gonna cut it short a little bit and probably only do three or four. We'll see how many I can get. I'll do one more. So once you've done your turns, I'm going to stop there, um, and once you've done your regular turns, then you do what are called frapping turns, which instead of going uh, weaving through your, your different poles, you're going to go around the rope like seam in between the poles, like this. You're kind of pulling the rope together with the rope. And so you'll usually do that around two times, uh, so I'll do that here. And then you do it also in between the other gap here. So I'm gonna do frapping turns here as well. There's one. There's two. And then once you've done that, you tie it off to the pole where you started with a, an additional clove hitch. So I'm just gonna tie another clove hitch here. And uh, while I'm tying this off, I'll just mention again, uh, usually you do a few more turns than this, but um, this will probably hold up uh, all right. And if you have more rope, you can of course uh, do the full thing, but that's what we're gonna do for now. So <clears throat> that's our, our tripod hitch. If you plan to use it for a long time, you can also cut off the excess rope. There we go. Cool. All right, the last thing we have to do here, of course, is set up our tripod. Once you've done all the other work, it's fairly simple. You're just going to stand it up like you would imagine it would go. Yeah, you want to do it in such a way where you've got pretty good anchors. So that's kind of what I'm just testing here to make sure it's stable. Cool. So 
I hope you enjoyed this video about how to make a tripod. Uh, we just made this one out here in the woods, and if you're thinking of doing something similar, then uh, I just want to point out a couple uses of things that you can use this for if you decide to go and, and make one. So, uh, one thing you can use it for is as a shelter. If you put like a tarp or something else around it to, to create a shelter with it, that's something that you could use it for in like wilderness survival or pioneering. Um, the, the triangle shape makes it relatively sturdy, and so it is uh, pretty useful for things like that. Um, also, you could use it for cook cooking over a campfire. That might be like the first thing that comes to mind when you see a tripod shape like this is like you want to hang a pot from it over a fire, right? If you don't want to put your pot directly on the fire. And so those are just a couple of things that you could try to use this with. Um, if you do try to use it for cooking over the fire, just keep in mind it's made of wood. <laughs> and so be mindful of the flames and you'll want to keep an eye on it pretty much the whole time you're using it. Um, yeah, so just something to keep in mind there. If you enjoyed this video and uh, you want us to make more like pioneering wilderness survival videos like this, hit the like button for us. We're thinking about doing more of these. And so by hitting the like button, that just lets us know, hey, like, let's make some more videos like that one. So with that, we're going to call it a day. I hope you've enjoyed this and uh, we look forward to seeing you back here for the next one. Bye guys.